get you some sound. Oh, and I'm Ben. Today I thought we'd talk about Justice League of America, New World Order. This mm. is gonna blow your minds, you guys. Yeah. I, I didn't. I don't know. It blew my mind just now trying to come up with a thing. A good catchphrase? Yeah. Based on Superman's hair, this looks like mid to late 90s? Oh, yeah, it's 1997. All right. Oh, my God. Okay, so we've talked at length about the Justice League, particularly the incarnations of them in the 90s Mm -hmm. and how crappy they were. And I was like, why are they so lame? Why aren't the, 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 the heavy hitters on the team? Why is it always like somebody like Metamorpho? And, uh, I don't even know who that is. No, well, you'll meet him in this oh. Oh, great. for a minute or two. Oh. Grant Morrison steps on board. And he's like, I'm going to fix it. Give me the book. And they're like, here you go. And he's like, all right, everyone's fired. Wait. I'm getting Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and the Flash, and all Green the, Lantern. All the characters are fired. Yes. No, okay. you're well, yeah. Justice League. Everyone from DC, you're fired. I'm in charge. I'm the god of DC. And I'll just generate new characters. I'll breathe life in them from clay. Much like uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm German, all right? <laughs> so he's basically trying to harken back to like, the Justice League that I remember or that I want to remember, they deal with big problems. They're not, they're not trying to solve hunger. That's boring. Who gives a shite? Well, it's a big <laughs> problem, Grant. <laughs> but I don't give a shit about yeah, that. but you can't punch it. Exactly. And in but, fact, that's... No, like... you can, but when you do, you know, you're punching hungry people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're that's punching people. Who not helpful. Really, really, they're weak They bones. don't deserve to be punched. <laughs> it's true. Uh, they, they tackle that idea and Grant Morrison's concept of like, let, let's talk about the big picture later. We're, doing a, we're gonna do a story about superheroes. Who gives a shite about, about whether they, they're having a happy time in their marriage? I don't care about that. I mean, fair enough. I don't either. Well, no, but like... Well, I, unless Superman and Wonder Woman are married. Well, then, then I, I care. Yeah. That's boring. Uh, like, yeah, we can see that. They did it in the New 52, and then they threw it the hell away. They retconned it so hard it never happened. <laughs> Superman had a popped collar, but he still wasn't banging Wonder Woman. That's how important it was to the though. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, Morrison's like, I'm going to fix it, and he does. And so he introduces this little, like, here's the roster of the team. Superman came back to life a couple years ago, and he's still dealing with his terrible hair. Um, but it's right on the cusp of when he's going to get his sweet, rad, new electric blue powers oh. that even Grant Morrison can't ignore or try to explain away. So later, the Great. books are ruined by seeing that terrible Superman. So wait a minute. The person who's writing Superman gives him electric blue powers, so then Grant Morrison has to incorporate, has to incorporate it. It's all in continuity. Got to use wow. it. Wow. Was he's this like, before Grant Morrison was like he was he wrote Arkham Asylum he and he was already like critically acclaimed yeah but he wasn't the juggernaut right. the uneditable juggernaut okay. at DC at the time okay just because he has the power doesn't mean he has to use it though. Oh, he does because that's what he is when Superman became electric blue it was because he had become that he had physiologically changed it's not that like he all of a sudden got a new power and he just chose to dress like an idiot <laughs> He also he had Although to. He did do that. that. Was, well, but that was a power suit that I do. Uh, otherwise, oh, he would. Was part of that. Otherwise, he would be like Captain Adam or any other character that's uh, that's contained by a power suit. And if it isn't, he'll just dissipate into like into energy. So crappy. But but Kryptonite didn't affect him, so that's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, great! We took away his one weakness. Yeah. That makes for an interesting character. <laughs> it's true. It's 1997. Independence Day happens over the White House. It's a big spaceship. Presidents like called Justice League. And we meet these these lame characters like Metamorpho, and uh, and other characters that I actually have zero familiarity with. Okay, the characters right. that I thought I recognized, and then I saw their nicknames, and I'm like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> but I I know but I, they were I, only on the Justice League for like what like a year. Well, who knows? Like I don't know because I wasn't yeah. reading Justice League at the time. Right. I was like, oh I oh it's good again pick up right oh and it's cool because it's only like a four or five part story Mm -hmm. but each chapter is named after an alien invasion movie title from like the 50s oh that's cool so uh the justice league gets the call the justice league and they're getting ready to pass the baton to the real justice league we get to see the firing but we it's implicit in their demeanor okay they're like we're taking the call we're still the justice league even though they haven't moved in yet we're, we're we'll take it so they don't have like badges or name cards that Superman like burns with his. No, heroes. well, if it does happen, it happens off. You all have your badges there, right? Oh yeah, we're there right here. <laughs> get out, <laughs> get out! You're fired. What's great is they don't even get to respond because Superman's like, "I got it," and he just shows up, and they're like, "Oh, cool." <laughs> 
No, we were right here. That's yeah, yeah just uh, Batman's going to escort you out of the building. Oh, hey! <laughs> I was thinking of the names of the movies that they could possibly be. The yeah. only ones I know were the, the Day the Earth Stood Still and Them. Right. And the first one's Them. Yeah. The Them they're referring to are the, in, the seemingly invaders. Okay. But in fact, they are this team of new super characters that are all basically parallels of the Justice League slash... I want to say parodies of the Avengers, because there's like a Captain America type character here. Okay. But they're all different, ridiculous, 90s-tastic characters. All See, right. I thought they were going to be a joke against uh, Marvel. I think they might be. But okay. uh, but they're also, each one is a counter to a member on the the real Justice League. Okay. okay. Uh, so, these these alien invaders, these pods land, these like big, irid- like silver pods, and these characters come out. And Protex... Of the Hyper Clan emerges. And Protex is Superman or Thor. Uh, Sentry hadn't been invented yet, so it's mm. on him. But, like, you know, and he shows up and he's like, Don't worry, everybody, we're here to save the world. And you meet this, this, this cavalcade of douchebags. Save the world from who? From themselves. You know, we're such bad at, you know, being. We're bad at it. And, the, and so Protex gives the. Protex, where's the camera? Ah, oh, there it is. Excellent. Hi, I'm Protex. I'm of the Hyper Clan. What I uh, want to let you guys know is we come from a world. That was destroyed by its own population. They burned the rainforests, and they polluted their their water supply, and they they went to war with each other. And we we see that that's happening here, and so we're here to save you. We're from all over the the galaxy, and we're, we're we we're... get visited by the goddamn planeteers. Yeah, basically. Well, like they're all Captain Planet. They're, it's not just about conservation, but yes. Uh, so we see their reception through the eyes of the upcoming. Justice League. Mm-hmm. So we get to see like Wally West Flash and how fast he is. He's actually faster than Barry Allen at this point. Oh, so wow. he's like, holy shit. He's still really, he's really, he's really fast. fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we get to see uh, Wonder Woman and the new Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner, who the Justice League has allowed to be a member of, but none of them trust or believe in him. <laughs> and mm. because he's like a teenager and he's like new... And it's right. weird because, like, Wally's the one who really doesn't like him, and he really gives him a hard time. Oh. You mean because Wally's also a teenager? Well, he was a teenager. I don't think he is anymore. But Wally oh. was, like, the incoming... Yeah, like, maybe because Wally's a legacy character, and he's like, no, I took over for Barry because Barry died, and you took over for Hal because Hal died. Yeah. But but you're newer than me, so I'm gonna... So you, you suck. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna swing my dick around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now I'm not on the bottom of the totem pole anymore. Oh, yeah. It's Guess who's cleaning time. the bathrooms now? No, Flash, you're still doing that. You do a really yeah, yeah, come on. All right, I will admit I just did it, but I <laughs> like, think the GL should in do the it middle too. of that sentence exactly. Like, so, I like how Martian Manhunter sits. Yes, he's like, hmm, television. What's also funny is that he's also like, <laughs> he's rented a whole crap yes. load of alien related stuff. He's gonna watch ET and Aliens and Close Encounters and <laughs> Alien Autopsy from Fox. <laughs> nice. You guys really suck. Yeah, <laughs> this is the worst watching your television. But, uh, Especially when it pertains to aliens. Yeah. Right. Although, I, he could do worse than E.T., Aliens, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Well, especially it's true. It's true. Aliens. Aliens are fucking great. Yeah. But, <laughs> Alien Autopsy, you can probably skip it. The, the Hyper Clan, their first action as the new appointed uh, <laughs> Self-appointed. Self-appointed uh, saviors of Earth. Uh, they go to the Sahara Desert, and they turn it into, like, a, a farm. They just... They just change the weather, and they like bring in soil, and they just they completely from change where it. you know from like oh from the seabeds. Oh, oh great! So stuff that's really salty. Yeah, whatever. But like the point is that they fix it. They use their it. power. They use, they use their. They use their. It. Well, they use their Justice League power. Do they change like prevailing winds and so forth so that like more rain falls there like yes. forever? Oh no! Well, don't worry. Because we'll <laughs> as soon as they leave, we're, we're a million years old or whatever. So like we'll 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 handle it. Oh. And Superman is great because they the, the the news is wa- is showing this amazing feat of of, of strength and and uh, powers, yeah. and they're all like lapping it up, and then like they 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 cause like a rainstorm that also includes some like hints of honey and and flavoring, so the children run out and they like drink to their hearts content. <laughs> And you're like, oh my god. What the God. fuck is this Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka shit? <laughs> it's just it's for them to Nana display. From heaven. Yeah. And so the, the news is like, oh, Protex, that was amazing. Superman, what do you think? Since Superman literally just watched them do it and didn't participate. Mm-hmm. And he's like, here's the thing. Are they going to do this forever? Or are they going to do... Because what they did was, the, the Sahara Desert is a desert because of 
natural occurrences. Mm -hmm. And it's a biome. Like, things live there because (laughs) of that climate. He's like, the reason we never did that is because we have to keep doing it. And that's not sustaining. You know, just because we can do something doesn't mean we should because it will upset the balance. And then they start yelling at him like, boo! <laughs> Sounds like sour grapes to me, That's Superman! Amazing. And That's he's exactly like, exactly what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry! We'll put a large oasis here. We'll just melt some of the polar ice. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> they might as well. But, uh, but yeah, so it's great because they're all like, boo, Superman, you suck! And then Proto's like, now, now, now. Oh, God. Superman is just trying to ask the questions. He's a good... He was he was a good savior, and he's just he's just trying to keep us honest. And you know what? I really... I applaud Superman for doing it. Superman, nice work. And Superman's like, thanks, <laughs> Protex. That's great. Is he gonna... Are you gonna stop then? Are you gonna do what I said and not... Oh no! Making it rain in the Sahara Desert. Well, no, because obviously it's I did good. the right thing. I mean, See, it's good that you're concerned. You're wrong, but it's good. Exactly. That you're there. And then the next, I'm, I'm glad you bring up these questions. Uh, next, yeah. <laughs> oh, and the answers are I'm better than you. Next uh, order of business: <laughs> super crime. It's a real problem. Let's catch a couple super criminals, tie them to posts, and then burn them alive with our heat vision. <gasps> oh shit! And the audience cheers, and the American, of course. the world is like, yeah. yay! And by the Especially way, if you put it on TV, take a look at some of these sweet characters like Wolverine and Doctor Doom oh my and God. Ares, and you're like, w- wait, you can't do that. <laughs> but they're blurred a little bit. Yeah, so, so you, you can't you tell. Can't tell definitely that. them. That's amazing. It's just Grant Morrison being. I guess like, that's Cable. <laughs> Yeah, right? It's somebody. I don't know, but it's like a, it's an analog for him. So they kill them on television, Yikes. and the public is okay with it. So it's like Kingdom Come a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was going to say. Only people just totally agree right. with the Yeah, Hyper-Man. there's no split. No, right. there isn't even like a 20% of people agree with Superman. Like, nothing. <laughs> and then we go to the orbiting watchtower of the Justice League, where they are suddenly under attack by about like five or six super beings in suits, like like space suits. Okay. And well, if you're so super, how come you need your space suit? <laughs> well, it's it's also to obfuscate who, who they, they are. are. Yeah. But it's great because the just like springs into action, and uh, I think it's just Wonder Woman and Green Lantern and the and the D listers mm-hmm. who are left, and Metamorpho, who's been around by the way for like a long fucking. He's an element yeah. man. He can use his his body can take anything from the air and like generate elements. Oh, and then like use a, those elements. He's like molecule man. Yes. So he should be the most powerful one. He should be, but he's also just totally lame. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't how know how to use it. He does know how to use it. It's just that like he doesn't use it to like change the Sahara Desert into a wasteland <laughs> or whatever. Right. Or, or, or just fire create storm. like an impenetrable shield of like titanium in front of him out of thin air. No, but he does do that sometimes. Oh. Or he'll turn himself into titanium. Like, he'll do that. He'll yeah. change them all. Well, then he should be unstoppable. He should be, and, he, and sometimes he is. Yeah. Depends on who's writing But also, him, like, who cares about... Nobody wants to read him in a book. <laughs> all right. Unless he's on, like, a team. Like Here's he the is thing. Now. He's got great powers, but a shitty name. Yeah. yeah can't get past that name. I know. Well, it was created a long time ago, mm. and all the good ones were taken. So, <laughs> uh, he, he, he basically just goes, like, Oh shit, we're all gonna die! Because like the satellites literally like the, they cut life support, they cut uh, the yeah. lights. Well, it's pretty easy to like kill people in space. Yes. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> like you need yeah. technology. A tiny to hole and you're kinda of screwed. It's yeah. true. No, I love it. So so Green Lantern's like, oh shit! And like the art in this it's, book is, is ridiculous. so dated and ridiculous, but I love it where he's just like, oh no! Like I'll use my ring to bring a backup and like to, to turn on the backup generators and yeah. And then, like, they turn off the, the backup generators, and the metamorpho is like, "Okay, we can't see. No problem. I'll just put some like phosphorus in the air. Now we can see because like it's just burning and it's creating like a little like light show for us. So and it burns see. my eyes. <laughs> and then, uh, and then Green Lantern's like, "No problem. I'll use my ring, and we'll all go back to Earth." And metamorpho is like, "They will shoot at us because you'll generate a big green bubble to mm. transport us." And he's like, "Green bubbles. That's the last guy." I don't know. He's like, do the thing where you create objects with your ring and fight the intruders while I take the characters who can't fly in space and get the shit out of here. So the Metamorpho takes the rest of the guys and puts them into an escape pod okay. and then fires it into space while uh, Green Lantern and Wonder Woman fight okay. the intruders. Oh my god! That'd be a great way to get rid of their D-listers. Yeah, yeah, quick, everyone into an escape pod! Come on! Boom. No, no, he just send it off into space somewhere. Right, and they just they fire in the other direction instead yeah, of Earth. They just yeah. keep going. No, Earth's not safe either. Boo. Yeah, and what's it's funny is uh, there the, the the space shuttles aren't working. 
or rather the, the escape pods aren't working. So Metamorpho creates a, an escape pod out of himself oh, okay. and turns the uh, the nothing that's within it into oxygen so they can breathe. Quick, okay. everyone, get inside me. Yeah, and you're and they're like, well, well, you you can't do that, I'll die! And he's like, that's how it is. That's what, that's what? what? And what's great is, I love it because on their way out, one of the Justice League members is like, we can't die like this. We're the Justice League. <laughs> You're like the no, saddest thing I've ever seen. seen. <laughs> like, nah, get the hell out of here. Nope, you're but, running from bad guys. Yeah, you're running from the yourself. battle. You stop being the Justice League. While League. Green Lantern and Wonder Woman fight them. Yeah, while well, the real Justice League <laughs> handles <laughs> this. Does their job. So Wonder Woman like throws on a respirator that she got from the Millennium Falcon when they're in the <laughs> slug. And she jumps out the window with Green Lantern. They just fight these dudes. Okay. While Metamorpho like almost burns up in the atmosphere. And what's funny is like, okay, I need Teflon shielding. What, what, how, do you, how do you do that? Do you need car, uh, carbon and fluoride? And uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's he not has to that know the chemistry? He can't just be like, I want Teflon. No, he has to think of it. He has it. to think about the chemical combinations yes. and stuff. Oh, that's not a very good power. <laughs> <laughs> how did he make air then? It's not just oxygen, you Plus fuck. He happens to also be a chemist. He's uh, he's not, but he's like, he, he, he should learned. be. He, he learned spent his whole be... life just learning... Well, I, I guess know. he. I guess he did because yeah. he can do it like kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, uh, the, his last act is like he he creates like a impact fluid for them all to like be in. So when he slams into the ground, they all don't die. Oh wow! And Metamorpho doesn't die, but he's like rendered inert, and okay. that's that's what the doctors call it. And then he's just not in the book anymore. Okay. He lost his powers. Yeah, but, but he was like way OP, so Grant Morrison had to make him go away. Yes. Otherwise, like, why wouldn't the Justice League? recognizing his heroism just include him on the team right so fuck him get out of here meanwhile while the while the justice league watchtower is being destroyed and seemingly everyone is losing uh protex decides to unearth the glory or as he calls it of zanzor which is like his own fortress of solitude in the antarctic oh okay and wow dick apparently it's been there the entire time like it's been there for a long time it's been buried under the ice mm. and he like resurrects it he's like this will be our watchtower Along with the other watchtower we, we unearth under, like, near the, o like, in the ocean. And, like, this other one that we unearth in, like, the desert. He's got three of these big-ass, cool, like, watchtower type oh, things. Oh, man. You've got an ice palace, you've got a desert palace, you've got a water palace? Yeah. I think we just need a forest palace and we're gonna have a Legend of Zelda story. <laughs> Superman and Flash and uh, Martian Manhunter and Wonder Woman, the whole team meets on a base on Earth. Okay. To respond to what happened. And what's great is, like, they're all there, and they're like, where's Batman? And they're like, Jesus, of course Batman didn't show up. And then Batman emerges from the rafters. He's like, I've been here for an hour. Thanks for talking about me. Uh, I knew you were going to start talking I want to see if you were talking about me, or you did. You guys are fucks. Yeah. <laughs> but it's great, because he goes, okay, so here's the deal. Like, when the Hyper Clan showed up, they basically, like, rid the world of crime mm -hmm. after, like, publicly executing the Marvel Universe. Uh, but but they didn't publicly execute, like, all the other villains that no. you well, actually well, that would have. But then they would have, like, killed all those characters if they want to use it. I know, but... <laughs> but it scared those characters. Oh, like, rumor has it the Joker's in hiding. Oh, okay. So That's how serious the... Yeah. Okay. So Batman's like, I don't really have a lot of work going on in Gotham, so I guess I'll, like, be on the Justice well, How many days has it been? It's been, like, a week. Oh, okay. Oh. Batman shows up. And this is the debut of what the fandom calls Bat God. Because Grant Morrison loves Batman. Like mm. Batman's kind of like the smartest member of the Justice League. Right. So obviously Batman would kind of be the linchpin every single time they have an adventure. Don't okay. worry, I know what to do. Yeah, I've yeah. got this. So Batman shows up and Superman's like, that's weird, I didn't hear your heartbeat. And Batman's like, ah, oh, good, the gadget worked. Anyway, I've got a plan. <laughs> and the plan is, we're at war. And the Hyper Clan is bad and we've got to stop them. So let's do this. So then... So uh, is he like, the Hyper Clan attacked the... Oh, yeah. The Watchtower. Oh, absolutely. Okay. There's no question. All right. And in fact, like, Protex goes on TV and he's like, I don't know what happened in, the, in, in space, but we'll be sure to, our hearts and minds go out to those. Oh my like god. That. Protex also tells, the, like, all these news people, because he's, like, always plugged in with the mm. news. And he's always, like, telling these news, so he tells these news guys, like, go here, here, and here. And then they do, and they're like, we're just sitting here waiting, and then their, their watchtowers emerge. Okay. And so they all like enter the, the, the Zanzor Tower. This would be when the news crew starts to be like, oh, uh, we're... Where do these palaces come from? Right? You're going to live in like a castle? Yeah. But they're like all totally down with it. Ah. So the first order of business is Batman's like, okay, Superman, I need you to, you can detect like microwaves and different frequencies and stuff. And Superman's like, yeah. And he's like, okay, I want you to set it to seven hertz. 
And Superman's like, okay, there is like a concealed orbital uh, source that's like emitting a frequency at that level. And interestingly enough, the human brain operates at seven hertz. So maybe there's something going on, like mind control hmm. in, uh, with satellites on the outside. He's like, Batman's like, yes. Also, that big spaceship that landed over the White House, I'm willing to suspect that's not even real. So they investigate it. In fact, it was like a projection. It was fake. Oh. And uh, they go into space and they it's check it out. a convincing projection. Yeah. So yeah. they go into space and they check it out and they're like, there's no satellites. But there is some kind of orbital thing happening that is affecting the minds of the planet Earth. Oh, wow. So there is mind control going on and the planet... And, and that's why everyone's on board for the hydroplane. Oh, uh, okay. It, it, it's why, like... It's not like commentary on how people... Are, are easily like, manipulated and sheeple. And, no. Yeah, okay. That's too bad. Well, it is in well, as much as, like... It starts to be, but then it's like, oh, no, they were... But they were mind Manipulated controlled. their minds, though. Yes, like, that too. Not like well, why with they, like, like words, but like with magic. That's why they fell for it immediately. Right. And why there was like no resistance. Yeah, yeah, listen, if you want to read a story like that, pick up Kingdom Come and read that again. <laughs> it's great. But uh, so they're talking about what they're going to do. And uh, so they split up into teams. And uh, okay. so they go off and like Wonder Woman and... Oh, Aquaman doesn't show up to their summons. Hmm. So Wonder Woman goes to the tower in the sea and she's going to go look for Aquaman. Because they're like, what the fuck, Aquaman? You didn't pick up the fucking phone. <laughs> He's probably going to the thing under the sea. But, you know. Oh, he, the, the they tower? This tower so yes. Oh, that's, uh, he definitely reacts to it. Yeah. But when Wonder Woman shows up, he's like, hey, uh, yeah, I, 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 I ignored your call. I don't need to be on the Justice League. Okay? Well, he hasn't been for a while. Right? No, it's true. But he's also yeah. like, screw the Justice League. And screw you guys. And screw the surface. And your yeah. human bullshit. I lost my hand. And yeah. And I'm really, like, freaking jaded now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't even know this, but I'm totally rad. Yeah, and what's great is you. Wonder Woman has no patience for it whatsoever. He like he actually postures, like he puts his, his hook hand in her face, and he's like, you see what I mean? And she goes, don't point that thing at me, Arthur. I've known you too long, and we've we've known each other. Like, this is this is this is pathetic. She's like, not yes. you throw a tantrum you. now. And he says, it's great. He goes, I'll decide what my problems are, Diana. The sea is my responsibility. She goes, the sea is my responsibility. What a ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> She's like, the whole ocean is your responsibility. Shut the fuck up. And I'm like, I'm reading that. I'm like, this is really speaking my language. <laughs> like, Aquaman does need to be taken down a peg yeah, or two. Like, shut which up, is ironic man. because, like, Aquaman is in this position because they want to make him more cool and relatable. Yeah. And he's just, they went too far. They took it way too far. So Wonder was Woman's, like, no, I know this. Yeah, and, and he's like, I'm going to have Wonder Woman take the piss out of, out of Aquaman. <laughs> And then they get attacked by one of the Hyperclan. Right. Actually, two of the Hyperclan. There's like a there's like a rock man. Oh. And what's great is he attacks uh, Wonder Woman, and she's like, "Like, what is the plan here?" And he's like, "The plan is we're gonna kill you and take over the planet." Like he has no <laughs> problem. <laughs> yeah. Revealing the details pretty, of his plot. Yeah, I'm obvious. a giant rock man. What yeah. are you gonna do to me? And what's great is like she just punches him, and he just skips across the ocean. She punches him out of his helmet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just nice. delightful. Then they fight like a female member of the team. These names, by the way, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head because like it doesn't matter and they're mm -hmm. so interchangeable. But uh, Wonder Woman tells Aquaman like, "Go under the sea and like t take down this stupid thing, this mm -hmm. ridiculous like engine like thing." Okay. And so Aquaman and some dolphins go do that because <laughs> Aquaman can't do shit on his own. Yeah, he's got to have animals. I need my uh, my cheer squad with me. <laughs> yeah, Aquaman, you're so great. I know. Let's do this. So uh, <laughs> it's great because the the dolphins also like have have like dialogue because oh. he, they're talking in his mind, and he's like, "Okay, get in there and just help me destroy it." And they're like, "That's okay. We'll do that, Aquaman." Because this thing was ugly and stupid, and it was it was in our way. Hey, could you feed us fish now? And then uh, what's great is uh, what was it? Uh, one of the dolphins is like, "Hey, how come there's a whale coming our way, Aquaman? Why did you call the whale?" And then another dolphin's like, it's not talking to me. It's not a whale. And then it's one of the other guys. It's, it's oh. the guy that Wonder Woman punched. He's a shapeshifter. And so he turns into a whale to get close to Aquaman. And then uh, he kicks walk Aquaman's ass. Oh. The Tronics kicks Wonder Woman's ass. And then... Uh, she electrocutes her, it looks like. Yeah. Flash and Green Lantern have to meet up. And Green Lantern shows up. And Flash's like, where have you been? I've been waiting forever. And he's like, it's been three minutes. He's like, that's an eternity. And Flash died. I'm like, shut the... What the fuck is happening? Why are you being such a dick, Flash? And then they have to fight this super speedster named Zoom. Oh, is he even faster? No. Okay. We find out. Like, well, Flash, like... 
outraces him and fights him and stuff. And he's oh like, no, his name is Zoom with an umlaut. Yes. <laughs> Zoom. He's a Zoom. And then uh, Green Lantern has to fight uh, Aramac or something. This iron, like, Hulk type character. Mm. Oh, the Transformer. The Transformer. Yeah, and, the uh, yeah. and, and the Captain America character. Oh. So well, they have to take on three people. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I know, I know. Well, they've got Flash. Yes. Yeah. So uh, Flash goes and fights Zoom, and basically, what he find, he, he does some math where he's like talking about how like the faster I go, the more energy I bring with me, and so like he find, he realizes he's faster than Zoom, so he actually just just cut his heads him off at the pass, mm-hmm. and then just heads him off at the pass. <laughs> I hate that cliche. <laughs> <laughs> Flash like outruns Zoom and then brings the full force of like his speed and just puts it into one punch and just knocks his ass out. Cool. And uh, I thought they were gonna tron it up. Yeah, <laughs> like they just no. So Martian Manhunter's job is to deal with Protex, and it's really more like he Martian Manhunter reached out to Protex using his his telepathy, mm-hmm. and then he met with Protex, and Protex is like, "You're totally different from these people. You're not even a person." Like, you're right. a Martian. You should join up with us, and then we'll kick the shit out of these people, and you'll rule with us. And Martian Manhunter's like, that's interesting. And you're like, fucking what? <laughs> Why does he make that deal with Superman? Superman's not a person either. Yeah, but super- he's like, Superman's gone native. <laughs> Superman's he wearing really the American looks like a person. Yeah, exactly. He looks like a person. You look like a uh, like a goddamn freak. Well, also, <laughs> the, the Hyper Clan is, like, really old. They've been around for a long time. They're like, we uh, knew the Martians. Like, uh, why aren't you actually uh, even looking like a Martian? Like, why do you look like them? He's like, it makes them uncomfortable. I look like a regular Martian. Okay. And like that's pathetic. You should just join up with us. So interesting. Superman and that's Batman. Weird because you all look like people. Oh. <laughs> so Superman and Batman they team up and they're like flying around. Uh, Batman's of course in his well, what bat plane. Their job. Their job is they're going to be dealing with uh, one of the other watchtowers. Oh. Okay. And they end up meeting up with like more of the team. And the end result so is the desert one. Is that? Yeah. Okay. They end up at the desert one. Yeah. The end result is a mortal destroys the bat plane oh. and crashes and like blows up in the desert, and they're like, "Flames got him. He's a re- he's a person. Doesn't have powers. Mm-hmm. Bye. So need to check it." And the uh, mm-hmm. and, and then Protex shows up and then reveals that he has kryptonite. Oh. And shit. Superman's like, "How'd you how'd you get that?" And then just boom, he's down for the count. And then they're like, "All right, I've got my reports from everybody. We basically killed everybody in the Justice League." We want to not kill Superman because we want to destroy him on TV. Okay. And so let's go. So they go back to their lair. We don't, don't want to destroy him this. because he'll come back with even longer hair. <laughs> or some stupid blue suit. <laughs> so they've been clearly planning this. Well oh, yeah. Advanced. They knew how to... Oh, how, when and how. And when and how. They uh, don't say they hacked into Batman's files again. No, <laughs> no, thank God they didn't. Now, you said they you defeated want a backup plan? They didn't defeat uh, Flash. Flash. You Batman know what it was? I woman. skipped ahead. It was oh. like he defeats... Yeah, he defeats uh, Zoom after they defeat ah. Batman. But anyway, so uh, they so they take Superman to their lair and they have like the kryptonite set up and he's just like sweating and dying and he's mm-hmm. like, this is great. Like, we're going to destroy you and then we're going to take over this planet and destroy all the people here and it's going to be great. And Batman is like, they underestimated me. Like, he escaped. Oh my God, yeah, And so he sneaks into the yeah. tower and he breaks through and he's like, and I know who what they are. Like, I figured it all out. <laughs> So he breaks into the into the watchtower thingy, and he just sneaks in. The defenses show up, uh, and he is cornered by like three or four of the Hyper Clan. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, Flash hmm. defeats Zoom, and then Green Lantern has to fight uh, Armac, the mm-hmm. like robot dude, and uh, the other like re- the other like Captain America type guy is like, he's a Green Lantern. They have an impurity in their ring. If you if you change if you do your 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 changing thing, your shape shifting. And, me, and become yellow, you'll be able to defeat him. And he's like, done! Boom, I'm me, but I'm yellow. And what you don't know, or what they don't know, is that, like, that was fixed after the entire core was destroyed. Right. When Kyle yeah. Rayner became the Green Lantern, they got rid of that. Uh, as Kyle puts it, they worked out all the bugs. <laughs> we, we, we fixed the glitch. So you won't be having any problems with yellow anymore. <laughs> we, we could have done it at any point, it, it took the entire core being destroyed. For us to finally go, going, you know, the yellow thing was yeah, really a hindrance. should, like, try to fix it. <laughs> yeah. So they do, which is great, because... It turns out one of the uh, members was just colorblind. Yeah. He's like, yellow? What? What? Oh. oh that's stupid. That's just still green. <laughs> so what's great is, Kyle's just like, you think that the yellow's the thing? This is sweet. So he, bring, he makes his own mech suit and just beats the shit out of it. 
Nice. And he's like, I'm a manga nut with a power ring. I can make manga suits. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. So he kicks the shit out of the out of Armac, and then all the people who were hanging around watching go like, "He defeated Armac! Let's get him!" And then GL's like, "I'm not gonna kick the shit out of all these regular people, but I'm not gonna like let them." So then he tur- he uses the ring to create a maze that they're all in. <laughs> just or he could cool. just fly away. Yeah, no, he's well, got to defeat. He's got to like. Well, he wants to like stop them from getting to him so he could leave. But then the other guy shows up, you know, the Captain America robot. Yeah. And he throws his shield at Kyle, and then as Kyle's about to get hit in the face, Oh flash, no, I've already made a maze, I can't yeah, do Yeah, I'm making else. the maze right now, I can't, I can't use my ring to stop that shield. I and can't then, multitask. Yeah, no. So then Flash shows up, he grabs it, redirects it, and throws it in the guy's face. And he's like, nice. you suck. <laughs> you almost got beat by a thrown shield Frisbee thing. That totally sucks. So then, And uh, then Flash just punches Green Lantern in the face anyway. No, no. Flash and Green Lantern then leave and then go meet up with at the rendezvous point that the Batman set out, which is one of the the layers okay. of the uh, of the Hyper Clan. So they show up and uh, what's it called? Flash learns some of their secrets by going to their monitor room and like watching some of their like hollow cubes or whatever. Okay. But as they're there, they realize that like there is something in orbit of Earth. And it might be just an invasion force. There's more than just the Hyper Clan out there, oh. and they're and they're gonna come. And suddenly, uh, the people they defeated at the Hyper Clan, like they're be- they're there too. And oh. So they have to. So they, they came back. They came back. So then they have to fight them. They should have vaporized them on TV so yeah. that they wouldn't come back. Well, they they're not gonna do that because they need to put them into their ridiculous space Iron Maiden. So they get captured. Oh yeah, no. Oh. Uh, Flash and Green Lantern get defeated, and Aquaman and everybody. They get defeated like off page. You don't get to see it happen. No. That sucks. You already saw some cool fights. Oh, you they got no. defeated. Well, d- but <laughs> hold on, because now they're in this really crazy thing. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, the other thing is, uh, Jean's not there because he betrayed them. He's like, uh, yeah, I'll join. What? No, that's just a protest. Tell- says to them. He's like, yeah, Martian Manor, he joined us. So, screw you. Maybe like Data, your first contact. Or... Resistance is futile, <laughs> and then breaks the machine. <laughs> kind of. Yay. So... They're, uh, so, so everybody's all, all the uh, all the members of Justice League except for Superman and Batman. Superman's in like a chair with the Kryptonite. He's there to like watch the Justice League be destroyed and then be destroyed on TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rest of the league is in this like silly flower machine that like it'll go up. It'll it's like an Iron Maiden like a million slash uh, it's like a battery. It'll be like no, it'll be like the the torture device in Empire Strikes Back. Oh, oh okay, I was thinking it was like it, it'll siphon the their powers yeah. and you, no no no, it's just it's just full of like machinery that'll like stab them it's just gonna suck <laughs> so uh they get their their broadcast ready to go and then uh the a couple of the drones go offline and they're like yeah maybe that batman guy didn't die like amortal go deal with him maybe we should check to find the body yeah so then uh they sent amortal to go fight batman and then when amortal doesn't show up and more systems start failing in the suit in the in, in the thing protex is like Oh my god! Everyone go kill this Bat guy! So then the rest of the Hyper Clan go to deal with Batman. And when they get to where Amortal was, Amortal is tied up and unconscious with a Batarang embedded in his chest and a note that says, I know your secret. Oh. And they're all like, Oh shit! <laughs> and they also like smell something funny and they're like, What is that? What is that smell? I don't understand. And then Batman like just just creates a circle using some strange liquid. And then stands in it. And then all the hyper... Or like three members of the Hyper Clan like go into it. Mm-hmm. And they're like, well, look whose luck just ran out, Batman. Let's do this. And then Batman's like, I know who you are. And I know what you are. And he takes out a box of matches. And he shakes them up. And he's like, you wouldn't come investigate my wrecked plane because it was fire. Because you're Martians. Oh. He strikes the match. And then one of them's like, oh, I know the smell. It's gasoline. And then he <laughs> lights the, the, the circle. And it just because it creates a ring of fire around them. And he's like, let's do this. And then just beats the shit out of all of them. You mean Yay. he doesn't just then douse them in gasoline? Right, just burn them to death. <laughs> Not human. He could. Don't have to save you. Burn. <laughs> Protex is like, are you serious? How is this regular human being defeating all my people? And then Superman's like, He's the most dangerous man alive. Like, there's no way you could beat him. And then... <laughs> Superman's like his hype man. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, Batman! <laughs> See, Superman's either his hype man or he's actually terrified of Batman. Little I think he is a little bit. It's the scariest man I've ever yeah, met. Yeah, he's like, are you kidding me? No. Like, I'm glad he's on our, my side. Bingo. So then he's like, screw this. I'm calling in the reinforcements. I'm going to bring in my invasion force. You lose, everybody. 
And then the next chapter, the last chapter is called Invaders from Mars. Because like now it's now it's revealed. Know, yeah. And then uh, so, like so the invaders are all coming. They're invading the Earth, and Superman's like internal monologue is like, "Oh my God, I can hear all the distress signals from all across the world. They're all begging for help, and there's nothing I can do. I'm powerless. I'm in this chair. How did they get kryptonite? They must be." There. And then he figures out that they're Martians all by himself. He's like, oh. "Okay." He's like, "There were no satellites controlling the telepathic like link with the humanity because they're telepaths." And he's like, oh, right. "Telepaths." And Jean's not here. They're Martians. He's figured Wait. it out. And then he's like, telepaths. They're Martians. I can hear all the sirens. There's no kryptonite here. It's psychosomatic. They created the image oh. of kryptonite in my mind. And then he uses his heat vision to burn Protex. <laughs> and then he frees himself. Yay. And then uh, Protex calls in the reinforcements. And Armac is like... Uh, Fuck you, and then turns into Martian Manager. He's like, "No, Armac was beaten you know, back in the desert. Like I'm, I pretended to be Armac here, <laughs> and uh, so all the other Martians who are members of the Hyper Clan like just freak out and fight Jean and the rest of the League. So then Superman is like, "Okay, Protex, you pretended to be like basically my equal, my replacement. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to use my heat vision. Let's just fucking fight." Okay. And uh, Protex is like, well, I'm not going to hold back. So then right. he, he's like, I'm a Martian. I can. Sh-. And by the way, they're not just Martians because John is a green Martian. Okay. They're white Martians. And the, the idea is that there were two races of Martians on Mars. Uh, the green Martians were pacifists and the white Martians were warlike. Okay. And so the white Martians, like, they. You didn't have red Martians? Come on. I know. It's right? a red planet. They're opposite colors. Oh, no, little green red men. Is That's why Gar- oh, You wouldn't be able to see them on Mars if they were red. It's true. They blend in. So makes them all the deadlier. So then uh, Jean fights with uh, with some of the Martians, and then he is aided by the rest of the Justice League, who all like get freed. Right. And uh, so, cool. who, who's the, who, what is happening to this chick here? Just get it dissolved? No, she is disassembling herself. Oh. Like she, this is her shape shifting power. Because okay. like the idea is that white Martians and I think Martians in general can can control every molecule in their bodies. So they can become anything. I see. So she like is on making herself to attack Jean. Ah. Hmm. So, uh, Jean and the Justice League, like, fight the remaining members of the Hyper Clan. In fact, like, when Armac starts, fa- starts fighting uh, Green Lantern and Flash, uh, Flash, like, leaves and comes back with some candles. And Armac's like, oh, no, candles! And then Green Lantern just drops a fucking 16-ton weight on top of it. <laughs> All right. And then they're going to fight uh, Zoom, and Flash is helping Green Lantern, so Aquaman fights Zoom. And Zoom's like, I'm faster than you. What are you going to do? And he's like, well, I can use your basal ganglia, which you inherited from uh, your uh, fish ancestors, to create seizures in your brain. It's a move that Mar- that uh, Aquaman can do. Apparently, oh. he can communicate with fish, and he can also communicate with, like, the fish, fish part of evolutionary, you? like, things within us. <laughs> Doesn't that mean that would also uh, be humans since we yeah. all came from the ocean? Right. Yeah. So technically, Aquaman can give like people seizures as well. Aquaman has many powers. That's right. And they're all sea-based. But it's not lame. So then Wonder Woman fights like one of the other guys. And uh, Superman and Protex like, have this big epic fight. And Superman, like, dr- like just, just, they're, they're fighting from the highest peak to the lowest dungeon. <laughs> and then Superman, like, just... Basically, Protex is like posturing and talking about how they're going to kill them and they're going to kill all the people and blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. And that's when he realized that Superman has drilled them into the Earth's core where it's really hot. Yeah. And there's fire. Where there's oh. fire everywhere. I'm not going to use my heat vision, but no. I am going to still burn you up. Yeah, fuck you. So then he just basically beats the hell out of him off panel and brings him back up. Aw, just oh. leave him in the Earth's I core. I know, no. So then the Justice League defeats all the hyper clan but there is still an, a martian invading force right. that is now like attacking the earth and so superman what, uses what does that mean are they just shooting people well they're or... just yeah they're basically chitarying it up <laughs> no they're not shooting anyone but they're all like wow we're taking over yeah, we're charged yeah. and they're using their like molecule powers to be like wow and they're like kicking people's butts and stuff right. you know? we, well, don't, yeah, we're we don't see it so we don't really know so we don't really know but it's real bad it's real bad so it's full on invasion superman opts to use Protex's vanity against him and uses the like link up that Protex had that was going to communicate with all of the news crews in the earth. Yeah. And Superman is the voice. It, it's great because I like to call this Superman's fireside chat. He becomes FDR and brings a voice of hope to the to, to the to the earth. Where he goes on camera 
and he says to everyone, like, people of Earth, this is Superman. And they, they, by the way, the League is like, who should do it? And he's like, Superman. They'll, they'll trust him. So Superman's like, you've been manip- manipulated. You've been, your minds have been controlled by Martians. Like, but you can beat these people. And I know you can because, like, you're humans and you're strong. And they're also, like, really weak to fire. So just break out some fire and you'll defeat them. So then you see, like, these masses of people who then just, like, whip out, like, burning paper. And it basically, they set the world ablaze and it... <laughs> it, 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 it seems like it scares would... scares the uh, shit out of the Martians. Yeah, it seems like it would be maybe more de- destructive. Than, it should uh, be, but... Uh, <laughs> what the Martians? It's dangerous. a controlled Wild fire spread across the Earth. Yes, and, uh, yes. So then uh, they defeat the Martian force... They go up to like the invading ship, the mothership where they all came from, mm-hmm. and they like load them all up and put them in stasis, and they're like, "What are we gonna do with all these Martians?" <laughs> and uh, and they come from. They came from uh, the Phantom Zone. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah, the Martians basically were at war with the Green Martians, the White Martians, that is. And when they lost, the Green Martians put them in the fucking Phantom Zone, which oh, they right. call something else, like the right. Still Zone or something. Right. But it's all the same place. And they went to the Still Zone. And they escaped. Okay. Like, the only reason like why they showed up happens. now, which is what always happens, is like, <laughs> it's the most impenetrable interdimensional prison you can possibly imagine until it isn't. So, except they still have like technology there and resources and they can find their way out again. Well, you can't die in the fan zone. Yeah. You can't like go, you can't roll or die. It's a cocoon. Yeah. So, uh, which is, it's, it's really like, like putting nuclear waste under a mountain. Yeah. And like, oh, I don't have to deal with that. And then like in a thousand years, like, Nobody knows it's there. Right. And, and then, then they like, like build settlements there. And then it and like it's still radioactive. Yep. It's like, that's all you're really doing. You're, yeah, you're entombing this problem for future yeah. generations. Yeah, you're screwing over future people. Yeah. So, you should just kill them. <laughs> well, so that's the thing. Or is put that, them in a real present prison where they can age and eventually die. Right. And so they're like, okay, well, what we got, we got like all these white Martians. What are we going to do with them? And Jean is like, I am the only remaining Martian left. Hmm. And... I have a decision, but you have to uphold, you have to trust it. Mm. Like, I'm going to make a call, Superman, and you might not like it, but that's Martian justice. You're just going to have to own it. No. That's Martian justice? <laughs> yeah. Well, he doesn't call it that. Justice. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, and by the way, so they, so Jean implements his Martian justice, and then we go to the Sahara Desert where, like, everything is withering away and dying without right. the hyperfence health. And they're like, man maybe we should be doing this? Like, what do we do? Like, we can't do that because right. humanity then can't realize its potential. They can't, like, do their... They can't, like... If we'll we just give them the keys... Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, how... What do we do? What What can we do? And so Superman's offer is that they... Like, he's like, we're here to catch them if they fall. Mm. And to fight like Martians and stuff. <laughs> so... Forget that. Then, the epilogue to the story is they build a new watchtower, which is a base on the moon. Okay. In only a couple weeks. It's a big watchtower. It's a big ass watchtower. It's an actual tower. And then the second epilogue is that uh, there's this dude. His name's Bob Gray. He's a fireman, and uh, he has this like sinking feeling in his heart that he is p- weak and pathetic and stupid, and that he's less than who she, he, he should be, and that he ignores it because like he has he has work to do. And the idea is that Jean used his telepathy to turn all the White Martians into people and trick them into thinking they're humans, and then force them to live out their lives as regular people who all do jobs seemingly like in service to humanity, where they will eventually like trick their brains into thinking that they've overhauled and died. Wow. And that's Martian justice. Interesting. It's kind of cool, I it's guess. It's pretty cool. I'm like, all right, I, 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 yeah. think I dig Martian justice. I also like on. the fact that that guy is fighting fires. Yeah. Not only is he facing his biggest fear, but he's like, <laughs> I have to stop fire! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. One of them's a daredevil that like rides through fiery hoops. Yeah, exactly. They all have to deal with fire, but also help people. So, Justice League of America, New World Order, is a is is Grant Morrison's debut on a Justice League title, and okay. also his like mic dropping moment. Yeah, but it's almost it, like rebooting. He is rebooting Justice, Justice League, where he's yeah. where he's like, this is what the Justice League could be and should be, and these are the adventures you can come to expect from the Justice League. Right. They're going to. Have big adventures. Super They're going to cool. do really cool things. Yep. You're going to see them go like into distant galaxies or like the, the weird places, and you're going to meet new characters. It's going to be really cool and really weird. But at the end of the day, we're going to like realize the potential of the Justice League. All right, because these are the stories that we should be getting. Right now, aren't you going to like? 
isn't there a risk of like you do all the stories that you can do like yeah you just run out of shit like you can't have a well, gigantic invasion I like argue every week that, no you can't but you have it's, to you have to trick yourself into coming up with new ideas yeah. I, I mean like it's just cool stories yeah I think that our, I think that Grant and I would both argue that uh, if you think you've run out of stories then you should stop writing them mm. and give them to somebody else because well, I that, guarantee you someone else has a better story that's true. Or at least and that's what they did. Story. They gave it to Grant. Yeah. yeah, and Grant like ran it to the, how, to its course. How long did he? Uh, how long did he do? A while, like stuff? quite a few issues. Yeah. Like he was there for a while because he wasn't like he didn't overstay his welcome, nor did he run out. Okay, you know. But I think he wanted to do more. Like, do they do they attempt to like tie these stories in to the rest of DC universe, or is it pretty much like standalone? Like, do, do they have like tie-ins and shit for this? No, because like this affects the whole world. It so, does, like, but everybody... it's just about Justly. Yeah, I okay. mean, th- and those stories <laughs> matter, and they do impact the world. Mm-hmm. But that's not up to Grant to come up with like tie-ins or to right. figure out how you know other books or like Plastic Man's going to incorporate into yeah. the book, or right. to force other people to write about. To it. No, it's true. By well, the way, by having an Grant will invasion. push Plastic Man on the team later. But, uh, <laughs> of course, he does. Yeah, he, he likes Plastic Man. I just mean by doing such big epic events, like it makes it then weird if yeah, it's they're a not referencing universe, them? that it's not referenced. I agree. Like, but which they is did kind it. of the problem. Literally, Jeff Loeb did the same thing when he did the Superman Batman book. Yeah. But it would do happens. huge things, and it would like, and it would should impact it. And in fact, their first story deals with like President Luther, so it's like it's a big. It does impact the DC universe, mm. but like. It doesn't have to. But that also happens in tons of stories where, like, you re- there's an event going on, and then yes. suddenly, like, the book you're reading has a time, and you're like, fuck, yeah. I don't want this. No, and you just don't... With this, it's more like, it's gonna use these characters, and if you're reading a Batman book, and you're like, how come Batman's not being... Ev-? It's on his off day. Yeah. It's well, on like, the day off, or It whatever. happened, like, the week after, or the week yes. before, or whatever. Exactly. Like, figure it out. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. isn't, like, a year-long thing. Where no. Like, yeah. Enslaved. Well, if no, that happens thing, every so it. often, like, you know, that's fine, but, like... I feel like if you do it a lot, no, if you have true. like constant, like major, huge events. It starts to be like, well, wait a minute, how does this? How could this possibly fit in? Yeah. With what well, I'm that's why, like, we start with the alien invasion. I don't think that we do more invasions. Really. Okay, they go. They well, go they'll go to like the microverse, right. or they'll go to like another planet, yeah, or another reality. Books. We'll exactly. give them their own crisis. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love it if they came back. What? Like, if the people what? that are on Earth right now, like, rem- like, if, if they started triggering things, like in a nightmare. Oh, like, the Martians? Yeah, some of the okay. Martians. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. If, they, if they were having a nightmare and, like, they lashed out and, like, suddenly their apartment was, like, destroyed yeah. or they had, like, different... Oh, no, they do. Like the White Martians do return. Cool. No, Grant Morrison creates them, releases them, and then later they'll do more White Martian stories. Now, did That's he me. have them? I that? think that Morrison did his own White Martian sequel, but other people used them. Did he? Well. Did he invent the White Martians? I believe really he did. He repurposed them. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is the League of America by Grant Morrison, New World Order. You can pick it up in the description box below this video. I'll give you a link to go pick it up. I think you should. I think it's a great story. I think that it's it's weird. The Howard Porter art is not great. It's a little mm. dated, but I will say that. It's it's kinetic and it, yeah. and it and it keeps you going and it's fun and it's very colorful. It's very colorful bright. and cool and, yeah. and there's a lot of action in it. But uh, it it's it tricks you into thinking that the story isn't as like contemporary as it as it is. Mm-hmm. And I think it is though. Yeah. So there you have it. Cool. Pick it up. Check it out. And uh, we'll see you guys next week with another episode of Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. Thanks a lot for watching.